Welcome back to Exploring Appalachia here on the Arson Brothers Network. And as you can probably see behind me, I am at the Stonewall Resort, Stonewall State Park here in West Virginia, a pretty well-known resort here. Uh, and I, well, I guess park too, but certainly the resort known as a fancy location. You can kind of see part of the lake, Stonewall Lake there behind me. But yeah, staying a couple nights here at the resort, taking everything in, it's gonna be cool. All right, then you roll into the road, the park, part of the lake, uh, the marina right over there, which we will take a look at in a bit, but you start up this road. Uh, this sign kind of neat. Welcome to your adventure. We love a good adventure. I'm driving on in here, a uh, sign pointing the way to the lodge straight ahead and marina and stuff that way. And then large golf course here too, pretty uh, renowned golf course from my understanding. I think it's an Arnold Palmer signature course. So whatever that means exactly, but uh, I'd say that's pretty cool. To the right part of the lake here, and you can see that is the lodge. Very, very big actually. Over in the distance, which is where we're headed next. You can see kind of the front of the lodge. And in here, walking in to the lodge. Huge kind of uh, archway, I guess you could say here. Shelter over top of things. You're load in load out area of course and nice little uh, porch sitting area out here out front honestly some adirondack rockers couches pretty good pretty good station lovely area here in the lodge play a piano tune These are fine places to sit out here look at this table it's pretty pretty remarkable honestly Just a uh, kind of lounge area here by the fire. Lots of crazy woodwork pieces throughout the building. And then, and uh, it, it is February here, so I'm sure the lake will look quite different in the summertime. And then, which will go down that way. Lovely deck, pool, there's indoor pool as well. And all through there, state property, state park property. And with that, we'll step into the library. Which is pretty nice. Come down, play some chess. You can get some board games to play and of course books to read I guess you can take them back or have a seat right here and another fireplace in here so pretty nice right here the mountain laurel spa massages and stuff and of course 
Weddings are uh, a well-known thing that they host here. And that starts down at least this hallway towards air room, although there are multiple ones. Gift shop. Some Appalachian rag rugs. Gift shop, lots of hats, shirts, glasses. get a nice overview of indoor part of the pool and as you can see it goes indoor to outdoor which is pretty cool hot tub there uh, you can see a glimpse of the gym we'll head down there in a bit though yeah. room 260 yeah king size bed uh little couch lounge area desk of course not bad not bad at all Opening up the curtains here, kind of the back side of the lake. Um, you can see they do paddle boats, rentals, things like that. In the summertime, up on the hill there is actually a, another restaurant. I think more goes with the golf course, but it is not open for the season from my best guessing. And over there you can see a little bit of it is what's called a pooch park. So place for it. Those good boys. But pretty cool one, I'm sure. Much prettier in the summertime. Green leaves and whatnot, but still very nice. Now down here on the bottom floor. The uh, pool and fitness center right through there. But here's a map of all the trails if you come here want to do some hiking or some biking they do offer bike rentals from fat tire which you can also see a little bit about on our western video but yeah pretty cool lots of different trails along the water and golf course and also i guess they offer a host of games you can get the things to play or what have you that's pretty cool and then uh, there's a restaurant and bar down here we'll get there right here we're celebrating 20 years collage of folks having a good time and there are nice little sitting areas like this kind of throughout there's a Actually, a little, you can kind of see it here, a little playground right here. And right over there is where that pooch park we saw earlier was. You can see a bit of the fitness center. Looks like a pretty nice facility. And of course, the pool and hot tub area. As we noted earlier, does connect to the outside. And it's another little store down here. Some Stonewall Resort merch, and candy, drinks, treats, and uh, changing rooms is there for the pool. Well, that's some big bottles of wine right there here. Still waters. That's kind of the back door actually. But that is the restaurant concert coming up soon Nashville Nights another one of those wild woodworking nice shelf or stand uh, menu and this TJ Muskies it's a bar area here fire pit in the middle pretty cool pretty cool but full service bars and draft beer liquor wine Everything you need. Catfish. Yeah, super nice. Like this indoor fire pit. Leads out to the balcony area or out to the pool area. Very nice. 
right here just off the lodge seating area there there's a little dock so i guess you can uh put your boat up here come up to the bar drink you can kind of see that's the campground area in the distance way down through there they do have a host of cabins you can rent some of them look really big really nice and quite nice here all around certainly this summer will be even more luxurious look at this ginormous adirondack style chair it's so big <laughs> i don't know if you get a sense of how big this thing is but man it is huge oh 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 if you, oh my gosh now i don't know how i'm gonna get back up out of this thing just right here this could be like a little summer bar perhaps i don't know for sure sort of looks it but we're gonna walk down this trail for a bit around the corner little bench for sitting and taking in some nice scenery for sure Puts us over kind of to the side of the resort here. And then there is a, uh, a, a wood walking bridge that goes across and over to the campground area. And you'll notice here, there's a giant houseboat. And that, I guess, is the Little Sorrel Dock Boardwalk. It goes to the Marina, Roanoke Activity Plaza, and Campground. So. Let's check it out. And here is that houseboat. I'm pretty sure they do rentals on these. You can actually stay there. I think they have some more, I'm sure, different in the summertime, but that's pretty neat. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Boardwalk for pedestrian and fishing use only, so you can fish off of this boardwalk which is neat if you like to do some fishing over there as we get closer to the other side you can see part of the golf course i guess touches down here next to the lake so that's pretty neat it does appear like some uh at least a few couple campers well, over here some more so a few campers have moved in Actually, since we've been here, and I'm sure they'll be filling up for the rest of the years. We're here in February. You can see over there, actually, another bridge walkway. And that may be right for, the, for the golf cart, as it looks like it connects to a little road. There is a golf cart road, I noticed, that runs through a lot, of course. All right, we have made it across. Oh, a cardinal just flew right in front of us, which is the West Virginia State Bird fitting enough. There it is, you can, so there we go, sort of see it. Yeah, so that's very fitting, a West Virginia Cardinal. And this little trail across comes to an end, I guess, right in the road here. Yeah? And campground area down that way. And campground through there, but up here of interest, um, one of at least two cemeteries on this property that I know of. There could be more. The Briar Point Cemetery, established 1881. So, this cemetery was here long before the park, which is of interest for sure. I guess that could lead to a little history. This is in the town of Roanoke, West Virginia, but this town flooded in, I think it was 1988, completely flooded this area, and the state took it over, took over the land, created the uh, state park here on the land, and then a few years later, um, it needed to make more money from what I understand, so they contracted a company and they built 
the luxurious resort sometime back uh, I think over 20 years ago now probably getting closer to 25 I think and it's it's become quite renowned here in the state and I'm sure throughout even but so pretty cool I'm not saying certain tea campsites and I guess C for camper or tent so you can do tent camping and most around all of these campsites there's a trail kind of like this that leads down to a little uh, dock deck what you call this situation I guess a deck and fire pit and picnic table down here near the water for your enjoyment and actually some I think tent camping right there just a uh, shelter tent and I guess come here do some fishing what have you Yeah, you see more of those decks throughout. And off of the distance there, you can see that uh, the other cemetery that I was referring to. And then over here, you can see that second graveyard here on property. And there could be more, I don't know, Mitchell cemetery that one uh pretty big actually and you can see just a little under the hill there there's a little cabin i don't know if that's a groundskeeper's place maintenance shack and over here near the marina we have the roanoke activity center or the roanoke building um seems to be closed for season playground looks like a basketball court out front there's some tennis courts which We'll probably take a look at actually but um i think it's just a place with a lot of stuff probably for kids and adults alike and just above the uh, boat launch point here there is a set of restrooms there's several of these you can actually see another one over there in the distance throughout the property so that's always and a good here's thing here's the boat launch ramp uh, a little dock over there you load your people up but back your trailer there and i'm sure in the summertime when the lake is full that's up a bit higher but nonetheless there over here you can see a little piece of that building near that cemetery I spoke of and here we have the boat dock and marina little store and building there and plenty of docks for boats and I'm sure in the summertime that thing is completely full they probably rent boats I can't confirm that but they probably do so cool little spot though and certainly be I'm sure bustling with activity in the summertime uh, you can actually see in this parking lot up above the marina and boat docks there are some parked boats I'm sure just waiting for that summer pool in the lake to be ready to put these in the water now there are the stonewall marina a uh, little picnic shed there on the water uh few little boats hiding still docked yeah i think we see a house or something on the hillside there and kind of way off in the distance there let's see how close we can get not very but you see the sign the park entrance in which we looked over here and saw this on the way in and here just on the hill above the marina the DNR headquarters and wildlife exhibit. Now we would take a peek at that wildlife exhibit, but it isn't opened back up for the season yet, but that's neat. All this right here on property. And here are the tennis courts we spoke about earlier. Very nice courts actually. Come play some tennis while you stay 
and you can see uh, in the distance there back across is the lodge in the front of the Dino headquarters and wildlife exhibit a large building uh, actually driving a bit driving uh, by the resort as you can see over there her room is actually right there you can see their rental cabins kind of off in the distance across the lake you know, we're turning light burns the restaurant here on the hill and the Arnold Palmer signature course sign A little friend a deer just chilling oh there's another one right there definitely uh, lots of wildlife saw a host of deer I saw turkeys this morning um, lots of squirrels and another crossing the road in front of us up here A second one coming here. Oh, a third one. There's three actually here crossing in front of us. Hello, guys. How are you today? Are you having a good day? And Light Burns Restaurant is here on the hill. Arnold Palmer signature course. I assume this probably is the clubhouse also, but I cannot confirm that. But you have a large deck, you would get a good view of the resort. It is not open, however. Closed for season. Going back down, our friends are still here. I'm sure they wish I would go on and leave them alone. See another one down there, four here now. guys how we doing i'll leave you be enjoy your dining and uh, i noticed right here i guess this is one of the trails There's a lot of trail systems here through the park which would be cool to check out but it's just not the greatest weather time here but uh trailhead maps throughout as well so that's a good thing and back down on the bottom here you can see another trail and some information about that. So lots of trail systems, lots of hiking to do here. Going back towards the resort there, as you can see it in the distance, of course. And over there are the uh, cottages, cottages and lake houses. That's how actually they were called. And there is, uh, you do have to be a guest of one of the cottages or houses to continue further. So unfortunately we won't see that, but it looks like they do have um, docks for your boat back there. So if you're into renting that, I guess you can bring your boat or possibly real one. All right, and down here, just from the pool kind of, the almost heaven swing and what's on now, they, West Virginia has actually placed several of these throughout the state, kind of a tourist thing, but they're pretty cool. And if you look on the back side here, it kind of tells you they're fixed to, uh, stand your phone up so you can get a selfie on the swing so that's kind of neat and neat to see one of these in person and now it is all over but the driving <laughs> driving back home headed out of here out of the park you see the sign here uh, one nice look over the boat dock marina it rained last night you can't see much but it's been fun it's been cool uh uh she didn't get to make an appearance but shout out to miss megan for really she was here for meetings that's how this came about so special thanks to her and thanks to you for checking us out here on the arson brothers network we'll be back for more please subscribe check us out on the social medias under arson brothers entertainment until next time let's hit the road